stop what you're doing pay attention to this video watch the whole video please pay attention this is an important message this is a huge situation that is fixing to happen and you need to watch this video and understand what is going to happen i don't know how how else to put it we are going to have major solar flares and it could possibly knock out the whole grid all across america you wake up tomorrow morning everything's done the banking system your power is off your phone's off your cars are fried everything's fried you you have nothing you're back to the stone age right then right you, you you're like what are we going to do what are we going to do guys these flares are coming they're going to happen there, there's no stopping them there's nothing we can do to stop these flares it, it's that plain and simple you've got to be able to be prepared for this how can you be prepared for this you need to go get you some money out of the bank that way you have cash on hand when the system gets knocked out you need to be able to, to have food and water in your house right now that way you're not out trying to go to the store right but you need to have cash on you this is the importance of why you need to have cash on you now how much cash do you need on you that's up to you how much that's solely up to you because if this happens it's going to get really bad right the simple fact of this is though they're northern lights they happen all the time yeah th these are supposed to be a lot more massive we could even see them here in alabama tonight i have seen personally solar flares in alabama in my lifetime now this, you can't do anything about these you know how we talk all the time you can't stop what's happening you can only control what's right around you right now why do you need cash on hand as a precaution are we going to wake up and everything be shut down? More than likely not. You know, the power will probably still be on. Now, you may have some areas that have power outages or things like that. But you need to be able to have cash on you in case you do need to go to the store and get something. In case you do need to get gas, right? Is this the end-all, be-all? Nope, it's not. These happen all the time. Now, you're starting to see a lot of channels on here screaming and yelling, Hey, this is it. This is it. Guys, I'm going to tell you, this isn't it. Number one, if it does knock out the power grid and the phones and everything, wouldn't that be like, okay, well, at least I can get a break from this, right? You got to remember, there, we can't control these, but you need to be prepared to the best of your, your abilities, too. And when I say take cash out, take out cash that way in case you do need to go to the store and let's say their systems are acting up. We can't use our computers. Well, I've got cash. Okay, we can do that now. <laughs> Truthfully, most people nowadays probably don't even know how to write paper receipts, right? The younger generation, they may not know how to do that that work at the stores. Could you imagine having to go to like China Mart, as y'all all call it, Walmart, and go buy something and them sitting there trying to write you out a paper receipt and having to figure up the taxes with something? It might be a little hard, but most people in a situation like that, just like when a bad winter storm comes through, you keep cash on you, right? Power gets knocked out, your gas stations... They're still open. Most of them is running on generators, and they're able to, to get you some gas, and you can buy stuff in the store, right? Am I worried about the solar flares tonight? Not really, because there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do except go out and watch them, right? Because I have seen them here in Alabama myself in my lifetime. I'm 47 years old, and I've seen them here. It's not the first time they've come this far south. But we're starting to hear a lot of channels telling you, hey, this, this is major. Everything's going to get knocked out. Number one, if it just knocks out the cell phones, wouldn't that be great? You're not being bothered for a couple of days, you know? You're not having to watch YouTube videos. <clears throat> Some people would say, well, that'd be boring. You might have to pick up a book and read something for entertainment, right? Because your TV's not working. But the simple fact is, just be prepared to the best of your abilities, and, and don't be afraid of this. It's not like the solar flares, flares are going to come down and you're going to immediately melt you got to understand it's not that type of situation which some channels are they're they're telling you right now hey this this is big this is huge this is huge i've told you i've never been concerned with solar flares some people are and i'm not saying you're wrong and i'm right i'm not saying you know i'm wrong i don't understand them enough but i do understand that they're all based off the carrington event that happened in the 1800s that fried the telegraph system and then again in the early 2000s it knocked out the power over canada <clears throat> excuse me in some parts of northern america but we're going to have to wait and see on this one this is just another one of our daily things right that we're having here lately that this is going to be the end all be all right you had the eclipse you had 
you know, nukes are going to fly every day, you know. Every day it's something that week's going to happen that's going to end us all, right? Every day it's something like that. This is just another thing that we hear about. More than likely we'll wake up and nothing will happen. But something could. I'm not telling you something couldn't happen. Something could. Just be prepared to the best of your ability. And like we said yesterday, keep some cash on you in case the, the, the credit cards and debit cards are down, in case the internet's down, you know. Guys, we have become too dependent on technology. It's that, it's that plain and simple. We've said this before in videos. We are too dependent on technology. Technology is a great thing, right? You want to read something, you just type it in on your phone. You can pull it up right there and read the whole thing. You're not having to go to the library to get a book no more. You know, you're not having to dig through stuff. If you want to learn something, you don't have to go ask somebody. You can just pop, pop up a YouTube video on how to rebuild a 350, a Chevrolet 350 engine, right? Or... How do I build a house? There's all type of information on the internet now, but we're too dependent on it. And also our money is dependent on it. We are dependent on computers now, and we're too, we're too deep into that. We need to get back to the more simpler things. Some people may disagree with that. Technology is a great thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but we are too dependent on it. Too much of our stuff depends on whether or not this signal gets through, right? Your, your paycheck, that depends on that. I'm sorry if you're hearing that. Omega's laying over here asleep and he's snoring. But let me know your thoughts on this. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your surroundings. Protect yourself and your family at all times at this moment. At, at any moment, that's the best you can do. Stay safe. Keep prepping. And the CME, don't panic over this. Number one, it's not going to physically hurt you, I, I wouldn't think. I mean, you know. I don't see how it could unless you maybe have some kind of medical device that is dependent on electricity, but then you need to have a backup for that. But stay safe, keep prepping, and let's see if the Northern Lights knock everything out this weekend. Could happen. Probably not. But if it does, it does. Get back to the old days, right? Stay safe, keep prepping.